April Minis Challenge hosted by Crafted by Corey. Link for her channel is in the description box along with the link for the playlist. I've chosen Farmhouse Minis this month. My first step in making this mini tractor was to spray paint this Christmas mailbox green. Okay, now this is completely dry and the paint job is kind of spotty, but it's going to be looking like, you know, an old worn tractor, so that's fine. So what I want to do now um, is figure out these, we these lids will be the wheels for the tractor. So I'm going to use tumbling tower blocks to figure out how many I need to get my wheels set up and then to set up for the seat for the driver of the tractor. chair a seat so I can make a seat from the tumbling tower blocks like three three blocks and then a couple to support for the back and that'll be the seat and we we'll probably a block for the seat to sit on Would that be too high? I do have the cube box as well. So that's what I'll do. So I'll glue these together like that and then I'll glue these to make a chair, a seat for the tractor. And these smaller lids will be the front wheels and these larger lids will be the back wheels. With my construction game plan set, I used super wood glue to attach all of my tumbling tower blocks. And right here, I'm rethinking how I want to set up for the front wheels. So I'm just playing around with how the tumbling tower blocks are set and deciding that I should just push them together so that I have a stable front that holds up the front of the tractor. And here I'm just finishing off the seat for the tractor. There are three tumbling tower blocks for the bottom, two for the back support, and then one going across on the top. I added another block here so that the engine part of the tractor isn't so close up to where the seat will be. And so I'm gonna glue this block down here so the seat can rest on this block. So the seat sits up higher than the engine part. Then I decided if one is good, then two is better for support, and I used this brown paint for the wood. I found these small juice lids and they would be even better for the front of the tractor. I 
and now it's time for the Gorilla Glue and to start assembling all of the larger pieces so the tractor can really start coming together. This yellow paint coupled with a glue stick top was perfect to make the rims for the tractor wheels. I go in with the Gorilla Glue on the ends of the tower blocks so there's a more long lasting hold with the bottle tops. And then I go in after that with the hot glue to help for um, a more instant hold and just to help the wheels to be more secure on the tractor. And for finishing touches, I added a few black lines to the front of the tractor and um, some kind of like faded chippy paint on either side in yellow and a little dot of yellow on the front above the grill and then a little bead on the very top that looks like a mini exhaust. On my channel, I enjoy doing all different styles of DIYs and little woodworking projects and little vehicles like this are my favorite. I have a playlist on my channel of trucks I made using Dollar Tree products. I hope you would consider subscribing and check out my playlist. And here it is completely finished. I love it. I think it's just the cutest little thing. This isn't meant to be a replica John Deere. It's just a John Deere inspired tractor. Tell me what you think. Starting out with six of these popsicle sticks, craft sticks from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna snip off the very tips and make them about five inches long. Once you're done snipping, you should have something that looks like this. Now I'm gonna make my cross beams. And this is just a garden tool I'm snipping with that I found at Dollar Tree. Using the first one as a template to snip the bottom. And just for video purposes, I'm going to glue these together with hot glue.
take a marker and my door piece and lay it like this and just mark like that and like that where I need to cut just going along and using this as my guide Okay, and there, that fits. I'll just add a bit of glue. And there is a mini barn door to add to your tear tray. Apple barrel matte white. It's my base. Elephant Gray Waverly is what I use just to make a few swipes on the barn door just to make it look like it's been really used a lot. And I made a second one where I used the Waverly Wax. Okay, this is just a little trinket canister from Dollar Tree. I want to remove this. I'm using Award Blue and a stencil sheet I found at Dollar Tree and I picked a pattern that looks similar to some larger farmhouse type canisters that I've seen online. And to finish this off, I just used the same blue to cover the lid. I really love this. I plan to make a larger one. And here they are all together. The tractor, I think, has to be my favorite for this video. Let me know which of these was your favorite. Please enjoy the playlist. There are some really talented creators out there. Thanks so much for watching.